Ezekiel 19 is an emotional funeral song for the leaders of Israel, portraying them as lions who lost their way in a vine that withered. This chapter serves as both a memorial for what was a tough warning about the consequences of leadership that strays from God's paths. The chapter opens with a metaphor of the princess of Israel as young lions. It says in verse 2, What is your mother, a lioness among lions? She lay down among the young lions. She reared her cubs. These images depict leaders who started with potential and strength, but eventually fell victim to their destructive behaviors, leading to their downfall and captivity. This imagery reflects the tragic trajectory of leaders who misuse their power, leading not only to their ruin, but also to the suffering of their people. Ezekiel then shifts the metaphor to describe Israel as a once thriving vine that is now withered. It says in verse 10, Your mother was like a vine in your vineyard, planted by the water. It was fruitful and full of branches because of abundant water. This vine, uh, symbolic of the nation itself, thrived initially, but eventually was destroyed due to neglect and poor leadership. This highlights the importance of leadership maintaining their spiritual health to be able to nurture and lead righteously. These metaphors resonate with a broader biblical theme that we see in John 15 verse 5, where Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, it is he that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. This New Testament passage echoes the vital need for staying connected to our divine source. Without this connection, even the most powerful can and will fail. Ezekiel 19 encourages us to reflect on our own leadership and influence, whether it's in our families, our communities, or our workplace. Are we leading in a way that fosters growth and life? Are we nurturing those that we lead with integrity and godly principles? This chapter isn't just about the failures of past leaders. It's a call for us to examine our paths and ensure that we are leading in a way that aligns with God's will, fostering environments where those under our influence can thrive spiritually and morally.